Uh, today I got on my motherfucking Spider-Man fit. I got on these fucking, I got on these Nike pants with a fucking blue polo shirt. I look ridiculous, but we're going to record this commentary because fuck it. Glasses on or glasses off? Glasses on or gla- The camera fucking me up with the glasses. <laughs> fuck, fuck it. I'm gonna do the glass. I'm gonna do it with the glass. All right, so originally for this video, I was gonna specifically talk about the types of people that I hate, but I came to the conclusion that I was just projecting a lot of self-hate, so it kind of turned into a deep video essay. I mean, shit. I mean, this video is gonna either be really shit or really fucking good. But let's get into this shit, Monica. We all have certain types of people that we hate. Some hate emotional people, others hate smart people, but me, I just hate white people. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not on some daylight hotep Jesus type shit. But the one type of person that I cannot stand is a happy ass nigga. Like, what the fuck is you so happy for? Why is you walking around smiling ear to ear, stepping like you Steve Urkel? If you don't sit your quirky ass down, nigga, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with being happy, but these niggas take that shit to the extreme. But but it's really the girls that do this shit the worst. These bitches will give you a whole ass passive aggressive lecture with a smile on their face. Like, bitch, if you got something to say, just let that shit roll off your tongue. These bitches be having superiority complexes, so they have to insult you by saying the worst shit in the nicest way possible. I could call her an annoying bitch because she talks too goddamn much and she would respond, You uncultured swine. Like, damn, bitch, drop the act. Just call me a loser. Or maybe even a nick. I think a lot of kids watched too much Disney Channel when they were little. Real niggas like me was watching Cartoon Network and YouTube. Nah, but I was so serious about that Disney Channel shit. Like, some people don't know how to form their own opinion and be their own person. So they act out stereotypes and shit that they see on TV. Even adults, especially black people. Richard Nixon made the CIA flood black communities with guns and drugs to pay for CIA funding. And this resulted in the next generation of kids growing up in one-parent households. Like, I'm so deadass about this shit with the CIA. There are documents on it, but since Nixon fucked over black people, a lot of them never grew up in functioning households, so they don't know what a real relationship should look like, so they just act out shit that they've seen on TV. This is why I made a whole five minute video about the importance of having your own goddamn opinion. If you cannot think for yourself, you're a fucking weirdo. That's just how it works. It does not matter what conclusion you come to, as long as you arrive there on your own, you're good. I cannot fuck with no dick sucking ass nigga. Originally, I was gonna make this video just about hating super nice people. If I replaced the word people with nigga in that sentence, this video would be demonetized. But I don't even know what the fuck this video is anymore. But the other kind of people that I cannot stand are smart people. Not actual smart people, I mean that enlightened jackass without a high school diploma that thinks he's the next Isaac Newton. Yeah, I'm talking about myself. Like, if you look at my philosophy for life video, it's literally a satire of my enlightened douchebag self. And it's ironic that I came up with a better philosophy for life when I was drunk off my ass than when I was sober. I swear, I can't stand a smart ass nigga. Just because you're smart doesn't mean you're right. I don't care how high the prescription is on those fat ass glasses. If you're looking for answers in the wrong direction, you will only find nonsense. It doesn't matter how smart you are if you don't know where to start. An open-minded idiot can make a genius with a stick up his ass look like a fuck Fucking retard. Smart people are cool sometimes. It's just those stubborn ass niggas with protagonist syndrome pissing me off thinking they the main character and shit. Once again, I am talking about myself. But seriously, I used to think I was smarter than the average person, so half of the time I wouldn't even pay them any attention. But I had to realize just because a nigga is dumb doesn't mean that he doesn't have anything important to say. I like how I tried to humble myself, but I just came off as more arrogant. But nigga, that's how I feel, so fuck it. An important lesson I had to learn was to realize that without communication and hard work, no matter how smart you are, you will not be successful. I treat life like a sport. I'm very competitive and I do not like to lose only problem is that in team sports you have to depend on others to help you win see i'm the type of nigga that hates not having total control over a situation my ideal lineup in the nba would be five amares all at different heights because i feel like i can do everything better than everyone else but in reality i cannot do that because i cannot clone myself yet so since i can't clone myself the next best way to fully control the situation is to manipulate every other person on the court and this is the mindset that i went into life with instead of wasting time 
time explaining my plan and convincing them that it was the best option, I simply persuaded them into following my plan without actually telling them. But I had to stop doing that because people start catching on and then and then they call me a psychopath. Then one day I was thinking, maybe what I am doing is wrong. So I'm like, all right, I'll meet you halfway. I will only manipulate the people that I don't like and or are useless to me because I cannot relate to most people. So if I find you relatable, we're like family at that point and blood is thicker than water. So if you're not family, it's fuck you nigga, no cap. I'm either with you or against you. I don't give a shit if you're neutral. Me personally, I'm picking a side and I'm never switching. I dead ass see life like a sport. There is a team that competes against other teams and after the game is over, one team is a winner and the other is a loser. Unless you're playing some lame ass shit like soccer. But the point I'm trying to make is that I'm competitive. So if you're not on my team or my friend, I want to destroy you. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, my ass. You are both targets. I like to manipulate my enemy's enemy into thinking that we have an alliance so I can take down my enemy. And after I dispose of my enemy's enemy, that's two birds with one stone. People call me a psychopath for saying shit like that, but morality is out of the question for me once I get in a competitive mindset. I'm not a monster for crushing the competition. A lot of people would do the exact same thing if they were in my position. Originally, I wrote this about hating nice people, but but then I realized I only hate super nice people because I envy their way to be assholes in the nicest way possible. I just can't be fake how they can. If something's on my mind, I have to say it, even if I really don't mean it or it comes off offensive. When I was writing this, the title of the video was going to be kinds of people I hate first, but first I talked about nice people and then I started talking about smart people and then I realized I was talking about myself. I don't actually hate super nice people. They're just annoying and they directly contrast to my personality. I think I wrote this because I was insecure about being myself because people always label me an asshole, but then I realized there's nothing wrong with being an asshole. I was attacking nice people to defend and justify the way I act, when in reality I don't need to justify myself to anyone. I'm sorry, I don't know what the fuck this video is anymore. It's either gonna be dog shit or one of the best videos I ever made. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I might have fucked up. I got on my Spider-Man suit.